Marius, congratulations. Appreciate it all. Thank you. Uh, take take me through your visit here to Cincinnati, and if you had any indication uh, that you thought this could be the place for you then. Man, I just remember just sitting at the Auto Coach Taylor, and I was like, man, just sitting there, and the, like, I know he was on the board. He was like, we want, we want O linemen that are winners. And I just remember him running out of every O liner they got on, like, literally every O liner they got. And they don't want some kind of form in college or that's NFL. And he was like, we want winners. That's, he said, we want winners on O line, man. Like, that's all I remember him saying. And he was just like, dude, if we're lucky to get you, man, if we're lucky to get you, man, we're going to come get you. And I just, I'm glad they came to get me. That's all, man. I know, you know, you're obviously built uh, uniquely. Uh, is, are you aware of the fact that the, there's two other guys at tackle that kind of are built as uniquely as you, or were you kind of uh, uh, up with that? I'm definitely aware of it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of their whole line, man. That's glad. Mary, so the, the first start you made in college was in the college football playoff against Ohio State. How much did your performance there give you confidence moving forward? Honestly, it was just more of the fact of like I knew, like I said, I said if I can do good in this game right here, against the like especially the level of competition that you know Ohio State had, man, I just knew that game right there can like boost my confidence and boost my game. Honestly, and just ever since then, man, I just try to man, put my best foot forward and just keep tacking, keep tacking this game after that, man. What does it mean to you that uh, you're coming to a team that has a pair of offensive tackles that have won the Super Bowl that are built just like you? Uh, and play the game the way that uh, I'm sure you'd like to play it, and you, you can learn from these kind of guys. Do you, do you look at it as a unique opportunity? Oh, 100%. Man, I can get behind those guys and learn from them, much as Orlando and Trent, as much as possible. And it's just wild, man, just watching both of those guys in college and now in the league and just, you know, getting, getting to be in the same room as them, man. It's just a blessing, man. Marius, what's it like being on a team that has a guy like Joe Burrow and throws it a ton uh, where the offensive tackles are required to be really good uh, on a consistent basis? What's it like being a part of that offense and getting ready to be a part of that offense? Man, it's just wild, man, because just watching Joe Burrow at LSU, man, I was like, oh, my God, I would love to block for him one day. And just now that I have a chance to, like, it's a blessing, man. Like, man, I just look forward to getting in and just talking with the man because, man, I feel like, they almost like a little kid almost, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just getting around somebody you look up to a quarterback, you know what I'm saying? He was one of those guys in college for me where I'm like, okay, I would love to play for that. I love to block for this guy. I love to play with this guy. Amarius, why have you been so natural in pass protection and picked it up so quickly? Man, just from my coaches, man, from all the way from high school to college, man, I got to thank them for that, man. I got, man, from high school with my office line line coach, Coach Ryan McKenzie, man, college with, man, all my O line coaches from Coach Eddie Gordon, Coach Matt Luke, and Coach Stacey Searles, man. I got to thank them, man. They're, those were the guys that put the time in with me and helped me get to where I need to be, man. Did you begin today thinking this was one of the most likely possibilities for you? Man, I just had an open mindset going in the day. I didn't have any possibilities, but, you know, I did have a, I felt like I had a pretty good visit uh, with the Bengals, and, you know, I'm just blessed to be in the situation I am in, honestly. Well, see, why do you think you had a good visit? Man, I just felt like, I just I just felt the energy, man. I just, I, like I said, the board work went pretty good. All my meetings were good with all the coaches and all that good stuff, man. So I just, you know, I just felt like it was an overall good visit. Amarius. Okay. Amarius, the Bengals picked you over some other tackles that – had more starts and experience, you could say, at the college level. Why do you feel like, mm -hmm. even though you have a limited number, um, you were worth what? them taking at pick 18? Man, I just man, I have no control over that, man. I'm just glad they, I'm glad they shot the side and picked me, man. I'm just blessed, man. Marius, where was the draft party tonight? Who was there? What was the immediate reaction? Man, honestly, um, like I said, it was in Atlanta, but um, like I said, all my family, man, past teammates, past coaches, like I said, close family members and friends were here today. And like I said, man, me actually just, man, all I could do is cry just because, like, as a kid, I dreamed of being in a situation, honestly, you know. And don't you know say there's a lot, a lot of picks in this ride. There's a lot of picks in the draft, and, man, for me to be at pick 18 is wild, man. Marius, uh, Zach Taylor just spoke to the media, spoke to us, and he – described your athletic ability, your stature, as rare. And my yes, question sir. for you is how much of your game is not just relying on your physical size and strength, but technique, and, and how do you think that's going to grow in the NFL? It's definitely going to grow, man. Everybody's game is definitely going to grow um, a lot. But like I said, I'm just very fortunate, you know what I'm saying, to get to come around a great coaching staff where they can keep developing me. So, like I said, mold me into a player, and like I said, that's better than now, honestly. So, I'm just blessed, man. Where, 
do you where do you think you have to grow the most, Marius? Man, uh, I, I really don't know like exactly, but like I said, that's something me and me and me and coach talk about. But like I said, I'm just open. I'm open to all options, man. I know, like I said, my game's not perfect, but like I said, I'm gonna get around a great group of coaches, and they gonna, you know, we gonna we gonna work together, and we are gonna figure that out. What are your impressions? You got some incredible measurables. What do you think of the uh, most significant measurables that make you the player you are? I mean, what is it? What's the biggest measurable that gives you an edge? Do you think? I feel like it's athleticism, man. Just being very versatile. I don't mind. I don't mind playing either side, any position. Honestly, like I said, wherever they need me. But like I said, just the athletic part. You know, so there's a lot of big guys that can't move, and I feel like that's something in my game that you know, they like like gives me a step up and an advantage. Honestly. So, what are your impressions of Coach Pollock in your meetings with him? Man, man, it was great, man. I I definitely enjoyed it, man. We we got we got on the board, man. We went to lunch. You know, it was a great meeting. Man. Like I said, I'm glad to be in the room. I'm glad to be in the room with him, man. That's just just. Overall, man, it's happy, man. Amarius, have you put the, the ankle injury behind you? Oh, 100%. That's been behind me. Just to uh, double check, Amarius or Amarius? It's, it's Amarius. It's good to know. Well, thank, thank, you. You for, thank you for telling us, and thanks for the time. We appreciate you. Thanks, Amarius. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you.